Hi, I'm Lucy. Welcome to Icy Digs. Before you come in, subscribe below. Okay, cool. Follow me. I live in a three bedroom apartment in Bushwick in Brooklyn. It's about half an hour away from Manhattan, which is a great commute. And it's also a cool neighborhood with lots of coffee shops and bars. I pay 1200. So does my flatmate Fernanda, who also lives on the top level. All together, we pay $37.50, but the bottom room is about to get remodeled into a living space. I found this apartment through Rumors. They are a co-living agency, which basically means that they match you up with roommates and give you a fully furnished apartment. I got to know them through a scholarship that I won last year, but I enjoyed it so much that I ended up staying as a tenant. This apartment is 592 square feet, which feels really roomy for New York. I think given the price, it's pretty reasonable. I know people who pay the same and have a lot less space so I'm pretty happy with it. This is our kitchen. One of the things that attracted me to this apartment most was the kitchen. It's not super big but it has really great appliances including a gas stove. I am a full-time food policy student. I'm also a part-time program assistant and I do part-time creative food consultancy. I do that from home so the kitchen is really important to me. I love to cook Mediterranean food. I grew up in France so it's something that reminds me of my childhood and also reminds me of sunshine. But actually what I prefer is cooking for people I love and making sure that they're enjoying it. I met my roommates in our old apartment. We were um, matched together by roommates. We got on really well and we decided that we wanted to stay together and find a place just for the three of us. Fernanda, I get along with super well. We're very close friends and we spend a lot of time cooking and eating and watching TV together in this space. Zach's also a good friend, but he definitely spends more time at work and he has a private space downstairs. So he tends to spend more time down there. The kitchen was pretty well decked out when we moved in. The only thing we've had to add is this shelving unit. It's actually an outdoor unit, but we thought it worked well in here. It just gives us a little bit more space and a little bit more storage. And it also fills up a wall, which is otherwise blank. Apart from that, it was just buying lots of ingredients and hot sauces. In an ideal world, I'd love to have a walk-in pantry to accumulate as many ingredients and hot sauces as possible. This is our bathroom. It's really nice and spacious. We have a really nice bathroom. Zach has his own ensuite downstairs. Up here, we share a shower and bath between the three of us. It has an actual bath, which I haven't seen in many other buildings. And I really like the tile work and the gold sink and shower finishings. We take turns cleaning the bathroom. We only really have one rule, which is don't leave hair in the shower. And otherwise, we just all do our bit to stay on top of it. This is our current living area. I wouldn't really say it's a living room because it's open plan. We don't have a TV on this side of the room, which is really nice. It means it's a really calm and relaxing space and it actually means that we read in this area. I use the desk space over here, usually for studying and sometimes for consultancy. It's a really nice, calm nook and it also gets great natural light, so it's a really good place to work. The desk actually did not come as part of the property. The the apartment came about three quarters furnished. We definitely added bits here and there just to round it all out. I wasn't surprised to move into a furnished space because at home it's really unusual to move into an unfurnished house. So that was kind of a culture shock to learn that that was the norm here. It's not hard to share the living space because we're all really respectful of each other and we also really enjoy hanging out together. We usually take turns hosting friends, but all of our friends know each other, so it just becomes one really nice social area. This is my flatmate Fernanda's bedroom. The layout is pretty much exactly the same as mine, but she's definitely made it her own. This is my bedroom. It's definitely my favorite part of the apartment. It's really important to me that my bedroom is calm and peaceful, especially living in such a wild city. I use plants, incense, and candles to try and give it a really chilled out vibe. And I also try not to work in here and keep it just somewhere where I sleep and relax. I really love the natural light in my room. It makes it such a really peaceful, lovely place to be. And I love being able to open the blinds and give my plants lots of light. When I moved in, the bedroom was mostly furnished, but it didn't have much in the way of storage or decor. So I added an IKEA unit that I turned on its side and it also works as a tabletop for a mirror I purchased. I'm definitely like a visual person. So if things look out of place, it kind of stresses me out. I use decorative boxes as a way of just putting clutter into them and then 
then it looks good from the outside and you get to forget about all your mess. There was one piece of artwork already in the space that was chosen by Rumors. I added a few more pieces. Most of them are just postcards or posters from places I've traveled to. I have pieces from Paris, Amsterdam, and a few things from home as well. I actually really appreciated that this space was partially decorated because I wasn't able to bring many decorative elements with me when I moved and the elements that are here are pretty neutral so don't really interfere with my own personal taste. I definitely try not to accumulate too many things, the less the better for me. There are a few things that I bring with me everywhere and they tend to be very small trinkets and sentimental items. I also always bring with me cards that I've been given from loved ones that just are a really sweet reminder of who is not here. That kind of made it sound like I was talking about dead people and I wasn't really talking about dead people. <laughs> My most sentimental items are probably a paper mache gold moon that I have on my desk. I'm not sure where it came from, but I have really vivid memories of having it in my bedroom when we lived in France. Before I left Scotland, my mum gave me a small porcelain elephant, which is just a really sweet reminder of home. In France, it became a thing for people to start bringing us tiny wooden elephants. And then we also had this elephant rug, which I brought over with me from Scotland. I like living in Bushwick. It's relatively residential, so it's, it's usually quiet, which makes it a nice place to be. It's only half an hour into Manhattan which is great and there's a cool little coffee shop just one block away so that's my favorite little part of the neighborhood. In an ideal world I'd love to live in Manhattan and be in the West Village and be able to walk to school and work but I think it's more likely that I'll probably stay in Brooklyn and I'd love to live closer to one of the parks. Thank you for watching my sweet digs. To watch more videos click here or to subscribe, click down here.